damn, I'm good. Duke, we've got a new problem here. Everyone who plays Duke 3D these days most likely uses, or at least had heard of e Duke 32. Today we'll be looking at alternative source ports. Build GTX. A while ago, it used to be called Blood GTX, and as the name implies, it only ran the game called Blood. Now it runs almost every built engine game, including Duke Nukem 3D. Built GTX supports hardware and software renderers. Unfortunately, it doesn't support the polymer renderer, but it might at some point in the future. In software mode, the color is very faithful to how it looked on Microsoft DOS. Actually, the whole experience is similar to how it was on DOS. It's like DOS with higher resolution and widescreen support. Build GTX even supports those old menu demos which were present on DOS. Damn, I'm good. All the official Duke 3D expansions are supported, and Build GTX makes them very easy to play. It also adds nice new colors and graphics to the expansion's user interfaces. I think that Build GTX offers the most definitive way to play the expansions. The only problem with Build GTX is that when you wear the scuba gear underwater, you can barely see the breathing tube if you're using the status bar. It's a minor issue, but hopefully it gets fixed in future versions. Red Nukem is actually a variation of e 32. Red Nukem is a tad more accurate than e 32, it's kind of like Build GTX in that regard. Unfortunately, it's not as mod compatible as e -Nuke. However, Red Nukem has some advantages over e -Nuke. For one thing, Red Nukem can run Red Nuk Rampage, but that's not all. Red Nukem can also run Duke Nukem 64, meaning that it can run the actual Duke 64 ROM. Yeah, for real. You just need your ROM file inside your Red Duke folder, along with your Duke 3D Atomic Edition GRP file. Then run Red Nukem. Select Duke 64 in the startup window, click start, and top top. You're playing Duke Nukem 64 on your PC, without having to take shit from emulators. Oh not the best one on the list, Ray seems to have the most potential. Ray uses the GC Doom engine, which could mean that at some point in the future, we may be able to load mods into new 3D with the Z Doom loader, just like Doom. And boy, that would be fantastic. Currently, Ray only has about half of GC Doom's features. Ray doesn't even have a software rendering mode yet. You can't enable the X and Y axis sprite billboard like in GC Doom. So looking down at a sprite will reveal its flatness. Raze is a good source port for what it is, but it's got some ways to go. I could list some honorable mentions, but they all predate e 32 and some of them don't even run on anything about Windows XP. The only ones that really worked for me were x and j 3 d If you want to know more about these old source ports, you can read the Duke Nukem Wiki page on Duke 3D source ports. I linked it in the description. Out of all the source ports on the list, I think Build GTX is the best, as of now. Which do you think is the best source port? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.